right, I'm going to show you how to edit your work using Photoshop. The first thing that you do is open up your work into Photoshop by doing File Open or simply dragging your JPEG over to the Photoshop icon and it will open up immediately here. As you can see, the first thing I should probably do is rotate my image so that it's facing the correct direction. So image, image rotation. This is clockwise and this is counterclockwise. 90 degrees counterclockwise will rotate it to the left. Boom. The next thing that you want to do is view your rulers. So some of you may already have rulers that show along this X and Y axis. I don't. So you're going to go to view rulers. Now I can grab my guidelines. I do that by clicking and holding in my ruler. And then when I get to the right spot, I release. I'll do the same thing over here. Now if you can't grab your rulers, it could be because you know you might not be you might not have the move tool selected. So make sure that the move tool is selected. And I'm just going to surround my image. If you have an organic shape uh, substrate, then you're going to want to take the photograph on a white background and just you're still going to have to cut it out using a rectangular squares because that's how we view images. Oops, I can, oops can't fix that. Okay. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to come over to your layers and you're going to click and hold your background layer and come down here and then release it. And what that does is it just duplicates your background. You could probably also right click and say duplicate layer, that's fine. But you do need to duplicate it because you won't be able to edit this background layer. You see how it has that locked button? All right, so now I'm gonna zoom in by pressing Z. I could also just go down here and select a zoom here, the zoom tool. I'm going to click on it on a place that I wanna zoom into. And now I'm going to flip back over to V, which is my move tool, so that I can grab these layers. So that looks pretty good. It's aligned very beautifully. I'm going to come down here. You see how just here a little bit of the background is showing up? I don't want any of the concrete to show. So I'm going to move my line in. It's better to be a little bit too far in than too far out, because that'll look weird when you upload your image to your website or when you're applying to shows. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to press Z, and I can click this button, which will help me zoom back out. Another trick is if you just click and drag to the left, it'll zoom back, and if you click and drag to the right, it'll zoom forward. It's a little bit faster. So I know that none of my canvas is showing. Okay, so I'm going to flip back to the Move tool, which is V, and now I'm going to press Command-T on my keyboard at the same time. Oops. I wasn't in the correct background. It needed to be in the background copy. Command T, release. Now you can see that my edges are active. I can move this however I want. I don't want it to do that though. I'm going to press Control Z to get it back. Um, but what I want to do is I want to take this corner and I want to have this align with this. You see how this line is slanted? The way that I can move this corner freely from the rest is by holding down my Command button. You see how that arrow just changed from a double arrow to a white arrow. Now I can click this corner and bring it down. Okay, this one too. Now I'm going to press return because I want to accept those changes. But look, sometimes adjusting those corners will mess up the rest of the image. Oops, control Z. So now I'm going to come in, drag this guide a little closer. Definitely down here too. The reason I'm going in as opposed to out, so the reason why I'm not taking this corner, for example, and moving it to the left, is because you never want to make your image larger than it actually is. That will pixelate your image. Now I'm going to hit Z to zoom in and double check those corners. Hit Z V so that I can grab those corners. Looks like I went a little farther than I needed to here. And 
It's a little slow. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. Control T again. Now, you might have a hard time at this point refining it. So whenever I try to go down, it's just there's too much space. So I'm going to escape. I'm going to hit C. So I'm actually cropping my image, which is right here, C or the crop tool. And I'm just going to make the background smaller. Hit Z, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Control T. And I'm going to hold Command down. Yeah, there you go. That gave me a little bit, a little bit more flexibility. Okay, I am going to try to move this in. I don't like how much that went in. So I'm going to hit Return. You can see a little bit of the space right here with the background showing. Command T. Okay, I can't get it more refined, so I'm going to have to zoom in. Command T. Let's see. Hit return. That's too close right there, so I'm just going to make this line a little bit further in. There we go. That looks good. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom back out. And now I can crop out just what I need. So I just hit the C button, but you can also select the crop tool. Select what you need, hit return, and that'll crop everything else out. Now I want to adjust my color because my painting is a lot more vibrant than what you see here. I took this photo in overcast light, so that's just the result. And the way that you do that is through using curves. So go to your layers box, which is over here, and down here you'll see a, a circle. It says create new fill or adjustment layer. So you click on that and go up to curves. There are a lot of different ways to get to curves. That's how I like to get there. So now you'll see this graph. On the left is a black triangle, and on the right is a white triangle. And what you want to do is you want these triangles to line up with the beginning of your graph. So I'm going to take my left triangle and move it to the right. And I like that. That made it much more vibrant. My, my right triangle is already aligned at the beginning of the graph. So that means that it's already at its lightest potential. If I move it further, it's just going to get totally washed out. So I, want to, I don't want to move it any further. Okay, I'm going to click that in. One thing I like to do is to compare. So I have this history layer that's open. If you don't have your history window, you can go to window, select history, and it'll pop up for you. Um, and what I like to do is go back and forth. So this is my original image, and that's with the curves layer added. Sometimes you might think, you know what, I went overboard. I don't like how vibrant my curves layer is. You can just go back in time and do it again, or you can just delete, delete your curves layer um, and do it again, maybe make it less intense. You know, I'm not quite at the beginning. It's totally up to you. All right, so now it's pretty much done and I can save it. Um, if you are applying to a show or something like that, the way that you adjust the size is by going to image, image size, you can adjust the resolution, the height, the width, and the pixel dimensions, these are all related. So if I if I change the width of my pixels to like a thousand, let's say, then that's going to change my document size, obviously. It won't change your resolution, 
but it'll change your document size. So just notice that you'll have to either choose to change your pixels or your document size. Um, but I don't, I don't need to do that right now. So I'm going to hit cancel and then just save my image. And I want it to be a JPEG, J-P-E-G. So sometimes it's JPG, sometimes it's JPEG. I don't know the difference. I'm going to hit save. I don't want to replace it because I don't want to replace my original image. So I'm going to name it something edited dot JPEG. Here you want to maximize your image options. So it should always be at 12 or maximum. This should always be way at the far right. If it's lower, then you're just qual your quality is lower. There's no reason for that. 